What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add people or insert people into renderings using Photoshop. Now in yesterday's tutorial I showed you how to do that in Revit and now I'm just going to be showing you how to do it in Photoshop uh, because in Revit it it's just used to give you some reference as far as scaling goes but in Photoshop you can actually make it look quite realistic but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and if you want to download this Photoshop file so you can check out all of the layers just so you can get how I got to this got to this rendering uh, check out the first link in the description to my patreon you can get access to all of my project files so far okay let's get started so as you can see I'm in Photoshop right now and this is the rendering that I'm going to be using now as you can see here in the layers I've done quite a bit of work to get to this image so I started off from something uh, like this so if I just take this on top let me just show you how that how it looked like so it was something like that and just by using Photoshop we managed to go from this thing to something like this. Now of course uh, people are really important in renderings but not just to give you scaling as those uh, people from Revit but here you can really uh, kind of create a uh, good conception a good composition and also add some emotion to your renderings if this was empty as it is over here uh, it just looks empty and dead and it's just boring but when we add all of the people we add the birds we kind of brighten it up a bit it looks like it looks well it looks alive so let's see how to add people so the first thing you need to do you need to find an actual uh, image of a person now if I minimize Photoshop over here as you can see if you just type in into Google people PNG it's going to give you these people that are uh, kind of without any background so somebody did the tough work of uh, removing the background now in some cases this is going to work out well for you in some cases it won't so sometimes you might want to use images uh, but uh, this is kind of easier because a lot of these are actually PNGs as you can see here it says dot PNG so if you download this it won't have any background so you can just slide it into Photoshop and you don't have to remove the background and uh, some of these even though they're called PNG PNG like for example this guy he actually has this background so this is something that you will have to remove in Photoshop now when picking out a person uh, the most important thing is of course the perspective so you need to look at your image and just to make sure uh, what perspective you're looking for uh, from which angle you're viewing the person so in this case I want to add somebody over here so for that uh, for adding a person over here let's find somebody in that perspective so in this case I'm just going to use this one uh, because it, he has this light coming from one side and if we look at this let me just add a layer over here so uh, if we look at this image it basically looks like the Sun is somewhere over here and it's shining like that on our building and as you can see from all of the shadows so we want to have kind of a bright Sun going from one direction as you can see from this woman that I added earlier uh, she has a lot of sunlight coming from this part so Sun is really important and just to demonstrate that I've got this uh, rendering of did uh, a while back and as you can see here where the Sun is coming from these exhibition points uh, you can see uh, let me zoom in yeah you can see you want to have just the light coming from one side and the back should be uh, dark and here these people are in dark as well as this person I've just added a bit of light on the shoes and uh, another rendering uh, let me just zoom out uh, here you can see as well uh, if we zoom in this guy he's got light coming on top so we want to have some light on the shoulders uh, these people uh, well, they don't have any really uh, exaggerated light like this but this guy as well as you can see he's kind of lit up from this side because of the top-down lighting so just make sure that the light is correct when picking an image because this is something you're hardly going to be able to uh, to change in uh, Photoshop so when you look at a guy like this so let's say this works out uh, you can just go here and uh, copy image and paste into Photoshop or if it's a PNG, PNG uh, you don't want to copy and paste what you want to do you want to right click uh, save image as and then save on your desktop 
and once the image is saved then you can kind of load it into Photoshop now in this case it doesn't matter because this isn't really a PNG but if it was uh, then uh, you would have to save it so let's minimize this here's that image so let's start Photoshop and let's just slide it over to this image now this is going to look like uh, this person is really small and that uh, it's going to look bad uh, but because it's uh, he's really going to be small in this image it doesn't really matter so let's place him like that and just to get the perspective right here I've got a door over here so that this gives us some idea of the actual height and we've got some people walking from over here so what I can do is I can go to that extra layer that I created just use a brush I put a dot over here hold the shift key and go over here where the head of people would be so this kind of gives us an imaginary line of how tall people should be so if I go here to this guy go control T and then I can kind of properly size him over here. Now, uh, in this case, because the sun is coming, as we said, from this direction, we need to flip him to the other side. So you can just go here to edit, uh, transform, flip horizontal, and now he's looking at the other side. And here we have some kid running around. So maybe this is his kid and he's just looking at the kid. So let's say it works out that way uh, for our rendering. Maybe we can reposition him like this okay now let's get rid of the background now there are a million ways to do this in Photoshop what I prefer to do in these cases where you have an image just go and use the magic wand tool and just select this thing like that and once you have something that looks like this what you can do now is create a mask you just need to invert the selection so right click you go select inverse and now go here and create a layer mask. Now, as you can see, the layer mask is going to kind of eat him up a bit. And don't worry, uh, we can fix that. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to make sure you're selecting the mask, then go here to the brush tool. And uh, just here by using the white, you can add the parts of him back where you want to have it. So maybe here uh, where his face is kind of missing. And uh, yeah, just make sure that hardness is at 100%. We're just adding back parts of him like that and here we're going to have some trouble because the background is white and he's wearing a white shirt but let's just try to add him like back like this and then we can kind of resume taking away from the image so once we have something that looks like this now we can switch back to our black brush and now maybe remove this thing kind of like that okay let's see his arm is starting over here uh, let's give him a big bicep <laughs> just kidding but anyway so just kind of go like that make sure it looks decent enough of course we're not going for photorealism he just needs to look like he's uh, he's there so and here let's remove this white background like that and the great part about using layer masks is everything is saved so if you mess something up you can easily go back and fix it uh, here we've got, got another uh, kind of gap so let's add that in again I'm not being overly precise okay so everything looks good enough now uh, you might get these edges sometimes and this can work if he was lit up from the back this would really look cool to have this kind of edge because it, that's how it looks like in real life but because here uh, it's kind of blending into the shadows and it just this just pops up this line and it's ugly so we don't want to have that so let's go ahead and remove it so what I do is I hold the shift key oops uh, undo that so click once over here then hold the shift key and then you can kind of go around uh, eliminating that so kind of like this And maybe go once again just to get rid of all the light yeah kind of like that and this here as well and maybe like that okay don't have to go too much into detail but as you can see it already looks a lot better now once we have this guy in place we need to make sure he fits in so if we look at it like this he doesn't really fit in and uh, what you need to do, you need to set up the correct light as well as the correct color for this uh, cutout. So how do you do that? Well, let's do the light first. Now, to make it easier for you to set up the lighting, uh, what I suggest you do is you create one black and white uh, adjustment layer over everything. And 
you just keep it there so you can turn it on and off because when you're in black and white as you can see it's kind of easier to uh, set everything up so what I'm going to do for a light is uh, just select that layer go here into levels and make sure you click this to clip this uh, adjustment layer to our person layer and now we can play around so maybe these dark edges we don't want to have them that dark so maybe pull this in a bit and here for the extreme whites maybe uh, lower that so if we go like this yeah as you can see now it fits in a lot better so maybe yeah, like that I think this works and for the dark yeah kind of like that okay so just find something that works you zoom in yeah and now we can take away this adjustment layer next thing we need to set is the colors so for the colors let's find color balance uh, which one of these is color okay color balance and again clip it to the layer underneath and now just play around with these sliders I know I don't know it's kind of the, the whole rendering is kind of greenish so I'm going to give him that a little bit of a greenish bluish tint so go kind of like that okay this looks nice and here uh, I, I've noticed because uh, we have this kind of a white line over here as we did with the code so I think we should remove this it it looks ugly it pops just on this side on this side we have it but it actually fits into the whole uh, sunlight angle but on the other side it doesn't so go back here uh, to the actual image go to the mask and again with the, the black brush just remove that edge uh, over here especially yeah and as you can see it immediately looks better same thing on the uh, inside over here so kind of like that okay so we have something that works uh, right now and if we zoom out it's fitting in perfectly he should be a bit brighter than these people over here because he's in direct sunlight they might be in a shadow or something so that looks right okay and the next thing we need to do the shadow so for the shadow what I like to do is I like to select this whole layer right click and go with the duplicate layer type in OK and now what happened is a couple of things well first uh, this these two adjustment layers kinda went berserk and they unclipped themselves from our image so just go into them and clip them same thing with this one clip it and now it looks right and the second thing we we saw is this outline so depending on how far you zoom out sometimes you're going to have this outline just because of the way we created that selection and uh, deleted the background so to fix this just go into this uh, layer and just with the with the brush make it a bit larger with a black brush on the mask just eliminating that one and you need to do it two times because we have now two layers so just delete that outer edge okay now we can't see it anymore and now we can continue working so for the bottom one I just want to take this mask and apply it so just right click go apply your layer mask now we lost that mask but the selection is kept or uh, the the background is deleted now you go to this layer then you go to image adjustments and what you're going to do is find hue saturation and here bring the saturation down as well as the lightness now uh, you can't see it now but if I go here with my uh, just a selection tool and move it up to the way now we have just a same guy just his uh, now completely dark now what you need to do is you need to go here to image but before let's just bring him back here go to image or sorry edit transform and find this distort option and now you kind of bring him down so you just distort him into a shadow shape so the shadow should be going into this kind of direction let's see so yeah kind of like that now uh, just make sure it looks right so maybe like that just make sure that uh, that you adjust it accordingly to the ground so I think in this case this looks good enough maybe like that okay so let's say we're happy with this uh, with this shadow now maybe we should make it a bit smaller so let's go uh, undo yeah let's let's make it a bit smaller so transform distort yeah let's make it go this far and for this one yeah okay kind of like that and here just to make sure it goes like that okay so let's say we're happy with this uh, we just hit finish now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blur it a little bit 
So go here to filter, blur, uh, find the uh, Gaussian blur, and let's set it to something like that. Okay, so let's say this works for a blur, and let's finish it off, and let's just uh, set here the fill or opacity to something smaller so it kind of fits in. Now if we zoom out, yeah, this fits in, but because this is above all of these layers that we uh, used for the rest of our image, uh, this shadow is kind of, uh, it's warmer colored than the rest of the shadows. So if I zoom in here, you can see these shadows are kind of greenish and this one is kind of uh, pinkish. So what you just need to do is you need to move this shadow all the way down uh, below all of all other layers and now as you can see it's got that a uh, greenish tint and let's just bring down opacity a bit so kind of bring it to that okay this looks really good right now and uh, one more thing you can do you can add another layer over here and just uh, get that little soft shadow over here so just go with a brush like that with no hardness oops undo that okay kind of like this and this, and then uh, you can delete what you don't want to have there. So kind of delete this part. Let's change this brush. Yeah, kind of delete that and this part over here. So yeah, let's say this looks good. Maybe we can make it a bit softer, this, this eraser. Yeah, so let's say these shadows work out fine and just bring down the opacity a bit. They're just kind of uh, supposed to ground this person so it looks uh, looks more realistic but yeah there you go it's 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 looking quite realistic now so that's how you do it and let's just remove this uh, layer where I just gonna sketch a few things and one more thing I like to do in renderings like this if you want to get that uh, that kind of video game effect that uh, people uh, are into right now so what you can do you can hold the control alt shift and E key and this gives you uh, another, uh, should give you another layer. So let's try again. Okay, here's that layer. And if we bring it up over here, as you can see, it's just a, a comp compilation of all of these layers together and it brings it up just as a new layer. Now here you can go to filter, blur, uh, Gaussian blur. And now uh, just give it a bit of blur, not too much, just kind of like, I think like this, this works well. Okay, and now just bring this opacity down. So it kind of gives it that little blur, but not too much. It kind of blurs the colors just a bit to make it look like a video game. So now if I turn this off, it looks like this, but with this, it just looks a bit, that, a bit cooler and fancier, I guess. Okay, so that's how you add people into uh, Photoshop renderings. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to download this uh, project file, uh, check out the link in the des description. First link to my Patreon. For only $5 a month, you can get access to all of my project files. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.